Hi guys, how are you? Now, my last video was about a young guy that attempted to commit suicide using my taxi as a mode of uh, an instrument of death, and he failed. But, as I said in the end, he finally did hang himself and that was the end of it. But I'll tell you another true story. Many, many years ago, now, my eldest girl is 34 now, uh, and my son wasn't born, and he's 30. So it's over 30 years ago, and my middle daughter is 12 months younger than my eldest girl. I got a phone call one night. It's about 11 o'clock. It was a Monday night. I can remember as, as if it happened last night, and the story finished today. Now, this guy rang me up. He said, look, I've just had one hell of a blue with my wife, and my father-in-law, they've kicked the crap out of me. Can I stay at your place? I said, yep, not a problem in the world, mate. Come round, doors open. I'll throw a blanket and a pillar on a couch. You'll have to sleep there, there's no beds. Great, thank you. All right, the next morning I get up, he's asleep on the couch. TV's still going, so I walk over, blink, hit the button, out the door, in the car, go to work. Two hours later, phone rings at work. Jim says, Karen's on the phone, she is absolutely going ballistic. What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? She said, I'm not going to use his name. He's dead. He's dead. I said, who's dead? And she said, he's dead. He's dead. And I said, no, he's dead drunk. She said, no, he's dead. And I said, okay, okay, I'm coming. All right, Jim, let's go. We've got a problem at the house. But we fly around there. I go in the door. I walk up, grab him to shake him and wake him up. He's as stiff as a board. Absolutely rock solid. Bang, bang. Oh, shit. At any rate, I've hit triple A straight away. Police, ambulance, whoever else we need, get them here ASAP. So, at any rate, it felt like hours, but it was only a matter of minutes. I mean, the police turned up and the ambulance turned up. At any rate, sure enough, he's dead all right. And, um, well, at any rate, it took a little while to figure out exactly what was going on. Now, there was a full bottle of scotch, or what was left of a full bottle of scotch, lying on the floor, and a bottle, an empty bottle, which turned out to be sleeping tablets. So they came to the conclusion that sleeping tablets, scotch, end of story. So at any rate, they moved his body. When they moved his body, underneath the, the body was suicide note. One to his wife, one to his mother, and a wristwatch with a note in it addressed to me saying he apologised. Apologised? He wants to give me his wristwatch. He's just killed himself in my home where my wife and my kids are there. Now, Karen's out the front of the house. Would not, ever, never did from that day forth step foot back in that house. She stayed out. We went, took her to her mother's place. I came back. The police finally got, the ambulance guys finally got his body out of the house. And everything was left as, as it was, a mess. So I had to get a group of friends together and we went around there and we cleaned the house out, our furniture. And luckily, my boss, whose house that I was renting, he did have another place that was vacant. So we moved into there. But Karen would never go back into that house. And she was traumatised for so long. Now, it went to the coroner's court. And this is a couple of months down the track. And I had to get up on the stand and give him my spell about what happened with the phone call, why he was there, and so forth and so forth. So they asked his wife if she had any questions for me. She immediately attacked me. It was my fault I hadn't checked him. It was my fault he was dead. Nothing to do with me. Now, the inconsideracy of this guy is unbelievable. To do that to people, not only to his family, but to, to people that I thought I was just give, doing a good turn, letting the guy sleep on the couch. 
It's just they don't think. People who commit suicide have nothing between point A and point B. They can't have. Now, I remember somebody said to me once many, many, many years ago, suicide is a long-time solution to a short-time problem. Sorry, a short-term problem. And I believe that thoroughly. Now, that's a true story. And it's not a nice one. And I'm not sad. I never was sad. I was bloody wild, absolutely furious that that man had the hide to do that. Now, I couldn't have cared less. If he would have gone and run in front of a cab, thrown himself in front of a train, fine, great, go ahead and do it. But never. And you kids out there, think about it. And think about what you do to people that you leave behind. And that's about basically just a rant on my half. It came back pretty vividly to me after I'd done that story about the young guy who tried to kill himself with a taxi. Now, what are your thoughts on it? What do you think about people who do these sort of things to other people? I mean, they don't care. They're not around anymore. It doesn't matter to them. But what's it do to you? Has it happened to you? You let me know. Let other people know by putting a response down in the comments bar or even sticking a video down there. Okay? Alright. I'll catch us later with a happy story next time.